In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a detached light switch automation. Now recently on one of my videos, someone asked me whether a Meta 3GAN light switch that I was installing could be used as a detached light switch. At the time, I wasn't too sure what this meant. But since then, I've been playing around and I've worked out exactly what it is and I'm gonna show you today how to do it. So in my lounge slash dining room, I have two lights near the TV and I have another light near the dining room. Now the switch for the dining room light is in the kitchen, oddly enough, whereas the other two lights have a switch in the lounge. So I wanted to be able to control all of these uh, three lights from one switch. So what I did, I've got a three gang Sonoff matter based smart switch that I've installed. Now this is controlling the two lights near the TV directly from the two switches on the three gang switch. The third switch I've left disconnected. So there's no wires, live wires running from this to the light bulb because I have no wires running in the wall to connect to that light switch. So what I've done is I've created an automation that when that third switch is switched on, it then links back to the smart switch, which is connected behind the wall to the light switch in the kitchen, which controls the dining switch. I know it sounds crazy, but let's have a look at how it works. So having a look at my automation, we've got our smart plug-in unit. That's the name of my three gang smart switch. And the trigger here is when the dining light switch is turned on or off, it will then go down here and it will toggle the Shelly that I've got installed behind the switch for the dining room light. As easy as that, use that switch, it turns the dining on and off. Now another, well that's all for today. I hope it's been helpful. If it is, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.